Hello there, uh, my name is John Mahoney and I'm going to give you a little quick demonstration on how I'm going to take a uh, Fuel 3D uh, face scan and bring it into an already existing base mesh and kind of blend it on in there and make it look all cool. Alrighty, so first thing I'm going to do is import my OBJ file, which is that, which is the uh, Fuel 3D scan. I actually cleaned up the edges a little bit before this demo, I didn't want to bore you guys a little bit. Uh, too much with the actual cleaning up but uh, once you have your the edge of your um, face cleaned you can just slide it right in there and it's going to take a little bit of finagling but once you get it into position you're going to be uh, almost good to go now sometimes I, I really cleaned it up. Um, sometimes it was more uh, messy as long as the mesh overlaps and then when you uh, merge the layers you're going to want to do this which is to take the clay build up and just fill in those uh, those gaps and then once that's done go to geometry and do Dynamesh and I put my Dynamesh resolution way high, 13,000, because I wanted to make sure I didn't lose any detail when I uh, blast it out. Make sure blur is set to zero. Click, drag on the canvas, which ignites Dynamesh. And uh, all the seams should be pretty much filled in. So now all I, have to do, all I have to do is go back to those areas that I used to clay build up and just use the smooth tool and blend it on back in. Takes a little while, but looks pretty damn good. And uh, also, I'm blending in the hairline as well. And then once that's done, I can just go to my uh, clay build up tool and just draw the hair back in. Very simple. And what I wanted to do just for this demo is not worry about the whole body. So let's just focus on the bust here. So I just deleted the rest of the body. And uh, you can see I can, I'm jumping ahead a tiny bit. I added some little pores to her face as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her eyes a little bit more depth. So I'm using my mask tool. I'm masking out the area that I want to have more um, depth to that uh, section. And uh, what I'm going to do is, once I get nice and clean, is I'm going to reverse the mask, click hold down control, click on the canvas, there you go, and then all I need to do is go to Z subtract and uh, draw on top of that area. Actually first thing I'm going to do is smooth it out a little bit first. Then go to Z subtract and just draw on it and you can see how quickly it pushes that area back. It's kind of a crude um, demo here but you get the basic idea that you can control it that way fairly nicely and then I'm going to choose a sphere and just drag that on this is uh, insert I'm using the insert sphere um, option so all you do is click uh, sphere and then just click and drag it on you've got one eye so what I try to do is get the first eye as good as I can get it and then I will just do uh, duplicate and mirror. And after you do duplicate, you can go to the deformation palette and click mirror and it'll pop it over the other side. Of course, people's faces aren't perfectly symmetrical. Um, so you may need to do a little bit of adjustment once you get the eye on the other side, but it's all good. I've done this demo uh, several times where I actually mirrored the face. That always looks a little weird. So I'm going to leave her face slightly asymmetrical, which I think looks much more natural. And there we go, I got our second eye. So anyway, that was a very quick demo on how to add a face to an existing face mesh. And here is me goofing around a little bit with some painting. So anyway, thanks for listening. Good luck with your future projects, and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.